Hi everyone, it's Roger here, FernandesKingdom.com, with your top five stories of the week. And um, this week we've had lots of do for different stories, um, including our number one most popular story of the week was that the new Disney Vans collection is coming soon in October. There's going to be a couple of different collections, including the Alice in Wonderland, Jungle Book, and the 101 Dalmatians. There's going to be a whole load of different items. We've got shoes, we've got um, hats, we've got um, bags, we've got all kinds of bits and pieces. A really cool design, um, sort of quite funky, looking pretty cool. A great way of sort of showing off your Disney side, um, but still kind of looking cool. I must admit, I'm a big fan of these. Um, I think they're a great look, and I just think they're a really cool thing. And I think a lot of people have also been really big hits with this um, collection. So be sure to let me know what you guys think of these. Our second most um, popular story of the week was the Good Dinosaur merchandise being released on DisneyStore.com. A whole load of different figures, including um, that we had action figures, soft toys, plushes, playset, um, and all the Christmas ornament, hoodies, all kinds of things. We've got the different characters, including um, Arlo, Spot, and Butch, the um, like Tyrannosaurus. There's loads of cool looking figures and things like that. There's also going to be some figures coming for Disney Infinity. Um, I think these look really cool. Um, I really love the look of Butch. So this movie is going to be coming out in uh, November for um, Thanksgiving and there's also going to be some special previews at Walt Disney World in Disneyland as well. Our third most popular story of the week was that the Pirates of the Caribbean ride has reopened in the Magic Kingdom. It's now completely been upgraded with new cannons, there's new lighting effects, all kinds of stuff been re um, re restored and um, there's a new wa um, water based smoke and strobe for um, weather effects. It just looks really cool and they've also put um, like Captain Jack Sparrow and Captain Barbosa in some different sort of outfits and stuff so it's looking pretty cool so if you're down at Walt Disney World be sure to check that one out. Um, other big story of the week, um, this week there's been a few different announcements from Funko regarding future um, pops. Um, the main ones have been some, there's going to be some pop vinyls including Pirates of the Caribbean. There will also be some new orbs, sorry, dorbs coming and there's going to be Pirates of the Caribbean for them. There will also be um, um, some other different ones including uh, some Marvel ones and some Inside Out and a whole load of different orbs coming, orbs coming soon. So they look pretty cool. So look, I've always liked the orbs. I think they look pretty good. And finally, this week saw the release of Disney Infinity Rise Against the Empire playset and figures and power discs. These were released um, in the US and also in other territories. And this is pretty cool. You get Darth Vader, Han Solo and Chewbacca as single figures. You also get the um, playset pack involving Luke and also Leia, and there's also a power disc pack featuring four power discs. You'll find all videos for all of these characters and power discs on there, and you'll also be able to get hold of the new Rise Against the Empire playset, which was previously part of a PlayStation exclusive bundle, but now everyone's going to be able to get hold of it. So, yeah, lots of fun. One of my favorite um, playsets. You would have heard me and Abe discussing it on the recent, uh, on the last episode of the Disney Infinity and Beyond podcast, which you can find also on our YouTube channel. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Remember to check us out at thiskingdom.com, and I'll see you guys later. Laters.